Hey, it's Andy, the Notion Real Estate Guy, and welcome to the Real Estate Investor Sourcing CRM. In this video, I'm just going to quickly show you a little bit around the template to show you what it can do and so that you can go and find out more about how it can help you in your business. So I'm currently here on the uh, on the initial page and you'll see we've got an access to the CRM and we've also got the two bonuses, the tasks and the meetings, which I'll get to in a second. So if I just go into the CRM and this is your main dashboard, so it's where you can go and t take some quick actions. So, for example, you can add new tasks, meetings, you can add a new property, a new homeowner, estate agents and an organisation. Uh, you can also go and check out what your follow-ups are. So as we know, following up with people on a regular basis is really important. So here on the dashboard, you can see that we need to follow up with our accountant, which needed to be done by the 24th of June. And we've got her phone number straight away. We've got our builder, Joe, um, as well with this phone number. And then again, the estate agents and landlords. So all the people that we need to follow up with are there on the homepage. And we've also got this in a list view as well with also their email address. So we've got our follow-ups. Underneath we've got our meetings, so what meetings have we got coming up this week? So you can see we've got a week view here, but we've also got a month view. So we've got virtual meetings, we could record whether they're phone calls, whether they're in person, etc, etc, uh, in a month and a week view. On the left hand side we've got our inbox, so these are just things that you may have quickly chucked into the system and then you need to go and add a bit more info. So you'll see here that we've got our current, a couple of um, tasks that we've just gone and added and we need to go and sort out. But here we can also look at our properties, our meetings and also our contacts. So anything that we need to quickly go and process, you can see it here on the left hand side and then delve into it to go and deal with it uh, when you've got a minute. But then underneath on the dashboard, we've also got our tasks. So what are all the things that you need to get done? And you can see that these are ordered by date. So we've got some that are a little bit out of date due on the 11th of June. And then those are getting more and more recent until today, which is the 28th of June. And then there's also the uh, access to the databases. So in here, you'll see that we've got a contacts database. So all of the people, organizations, so that's any sort of company, really. So whether it's a builder or an accountant, um, a solicitor, etc., that goes into organization. We've got properties. So these are actual places that are uh, up for sale um, by either an estate agent or a property owner. Um, deals, don't worry too much about that. And we've also got important dates. So these could be birthdays um, or uh, when you first met someone. I'll get onto that in a minute. And then we've also got deal dates and then we've got our bonuses. So these are the meetings and the tasks. Cool. So let me go back and let me show you how this works. So we've got here a sourcing page with our CRM. So if I jump into that, uh, let's go on to our estate agents first. So here we can see we've got a couple of estate agents. We've got Paul and we've got Michael. And if I jump into Paul, you can see all the information we can store on our estate agent. So he belongs to the estate agent company. Um, he's an estate agent. You can see what his title is. So sales progression, who owns it. So if you work with a team, you can put who owns that relationship. His contact details. We also have contact rating. So you can go and determine how good you get on with these people. Do you want to prioritize those? Um, and a really important part is the follow-up. So here I can see that I last contacted him on the 27th of May. And I wanted to follow up with him in three weeks, 21 days, which means that the follow-up is the 17th of June. But we could go and change that. I can make that 30 days, for example. So I could just go and change that and it automatically calculates when's the next follow-up. And then that'll appear on your dashboard and in the diary. I'm just going to undo that one. And then we've also got here important dates. So I've just so happened to jot down Paul's birthday, which is the 29th of May, but we could add another one in here, and this could be um, the time you first met. So you could go and add in first met as well. And it's just about building that rapport. It's about keeping checking in, say happy birthday, it could be a wedding anniversary, it could be a kid's birthday, um, et cetera, et cetera. So it's all about just giving you information to build those relationships. You can quickly add a note, and this will appear on the um, sort of home page and where you see this is quite high level. Um, so here we could just put um, a great uh, agent, uh, just as a quick note. Um, and then we've also got a couple of other bits like when did you create it and when did you last edit it. Then underneath, we've got all of the associated information with this agent. So if I open this a bit bigger, you can see we can store what the properties that this agent is looking after, what meetings have we had. So every time you give them a call, just go in here, go new, add a meeting. Let's go and say catch up uh, with uh, Paul. You can go and say well, what date and time was that. So that could have been today. Uh, and then any quick notes. So you could be um, updated on Church Street, etc., etc. Add a few notes. And that then stays on his record. So you've always got the information that you need in one place. And then maybe you've got some tasks. So it could be um, send over um, proof of funds. 
So you can quickly add that in. Let's say that that is uh, in progress. So you're already working on that and you want to get that done by Friday. There you go. It's already attached to his record. It'll appear on your dashboard, um, et cetera, et cetera. So it's a really, really quick way to store all of the information in one place. And let's just say that we've um, contacted him. So we've gone and spoken to him today. Let's say set last contact today. Just click on that one. And straight away, you can say it's now set today's date, the 27th of June. Um, and then the next follow ups scheduled already. So really, really easy, all the buttons that you need, and then we can just click, and then we're back to our dashboard and the CRM. So estate agents, uh, we've got our follow-ups, and underneath we've just got all the information. So the estate agents is in the people, and then underneath we've got the estate agencies, that is the companies, and then any important dates. And lastly, underneath we have admin, so if there's any information missing, so for example, these new ones here, we need to quickly go and fill in their information, put it in here. Um, we've got our templates. Um, so say Greg, uh, new agent, let's click new estate agent, click on that one. It loads in all of the templates. So that all comes through automatically. You can see it's an estate agent. It's got my name on it. And then we can just say that he's now current. So really, really easy. Cool. So that's estate agents. Then we can go into our power team. So our power team here, um, we've got, again, it's all similar, follow-ups. So who do we need to follow up with? So we've got our accountant and our builder. Also, we include in here attorneys um, as well. Scroll down, we've got our inbox for people that we need to process. We've got our power team. So if we want to just look up their details, we can see what their emails and phone numbers are and their ratings. So we can quickly access their details. And again, the organization, important dates and any admin. So that's very similar to the agents. Then we've got our property owners, so that's where we deal with uh, property owners directly. And we can categorise them either as a landlord or we can categorise them as a homeowner. So are they living in their property or are they renting out their property? So we've got loads of info here, so we can see that Laura's a landlord and she's got three properties associated with her. And then we've got the follow-up to the 25th of June. Um, and then we've got Harry and he lives in his own house. And we've got a card view and we've also here got a table view. And then scroll down, we've again got our inbox, um, property owners, so we can see we've got a couple of homeowners and one landlord um, here. And then our important dates, so you can see that tomorrow, um, we first met Laura, uh, um, let's have a look a year ago so the 28th of June so then a day later uh, this year we'll just go and follow up with her we can go and say hey um, how's it going have you managed to sell your properties can I help and it's all about keeping that rapport going um, so that's when we first met Laura and again we've got our admin uh, details underneath and you can see that this one it's in the inbox Taylor and he's missing loads of info so as soon as you fill that in he'll disappear from the list just to make sure that all your data is well and truly um, complete Cool, so that's property owners. Um, tied to that are our properties. So we wanna see all of the houses that we're looking at, and that's both um, ones that may be on hold, pause, and also current. So we've got loads of info here. So if I go into one of these, uh, you can see that again, we've got a template. So it's bringing up what meetings have we had to do with this house, any tasks that we need to do. So we, do we need to speak to our broker? Do we need to go and do some deal stacking? Do we need to go and book in a viewing with an agent? You can just put that in as a task. And again, at the top, we've got all the info. So what's the address, what type of property is it? So you can, of course, go and add to these depending um, on what you're doing. So you could put flats in here, for example. Um, is it owner occupied? Is it rented? Again, go and add some more in. How many bedrooms? What's the asking price that they're, they're after at the moment? Who are our contacts? Um, so this has Harry, the homeowner, um, but it could also, you could add in agents as well if you've got both, if you know the agent and you know the homeowner. Um, and then what could you do with it? So these are just a couple of examples. And of course, you can expand these for your own requirements. So that's the template for a property. And then if I scroll down, you can see that we've again got our inbox and we've got any missing info. Um, and properties is just on the actual property itself. If you were to start doing a deal, so if you've spoken to an agent and you're like, right, I want to buy this house, you'd then go and add it to the deal database. Um, but this is all about just a CRM. So this is purely about sourcing. So it's finding properties. Uh, and then lastly, we've got our organizations. So here, this is all about the businesses that we interact with. So we've got our accountants, attorneys, builders, etc. You can rate them. Again, you can see all of their contact details, um, any in the inbox. And then you've also got your admin. Cool. So that's very quick on the CRM. And if I go back again to sourcing, we've also got meetings and tasks. So on meetings, we just see a little diary, add a new meeting or task. We can see what meetings we've got coming up this week and also this month and the little views. Um, if I scroll down, you can also quickly access all your past meetings if you need to reference those um, in your inbox. And then same again with tasks. So if I go back to sourcing, you've got tasks and we can see, right, what's due today? 
So here there are no tasks due today, I'm all up to date, but there are a few that are out that are overdue and you can see when their dates were due. Um, so you can either archive them, so just tick the archive box if you no longer need them or go and get them done. So is it in progress? Are you waiting for somebody else? Is it blocked, etc., etc.? Um, or just go and get them done, get them out of your hair. Um, here we can go and schedule them. So let's say, right, I'm gonna now go and book a meeting with the accountant, just drag it into in progress. You can jump into it, we've got the template. Um, and you can go and say it's connected to your accountant. So this is due with uh, Annie. So just go and click on Annie. Um, you can then click through and you can easily see her email address details. So that's how you can go and book this task in. So we've got book the meeting. You can see it appears here. So it's all interconnected, which is really powerful. And then once you've gone and booked that meeting, just go and click it, say awesome complete and you can actually go and add in the meeting uh, into your diary so it's all connected saves you time it's a really really powerful system so once that's done it then goes and moves it into whatever you need into either pause or waiting on or complete um, and you can just go and get all of your tasks done out of your hair and then again we've got maintenance so what are the, what's the situation in terms of um, tasks that need stuff adding to them and you can just go and get them all sorted and tidied up Cool, and that is the Real Estate Investor Sourcing CRM, available to download, so go and grab it, and if you need any help, just go and jump into my socials here underneath and let me know how you're getting on, and I'll do what I can to help.